there, Casey with Spectora. Next up on our Spectora Advanced Tools walkthrough, we're going to go over the expanded metrics area. So you're gonna be able to get really deep into your business numbers here. So if we go to settings and scroll down to the advanced tools, we can choose to turn on our advanced metrics. When we hit the metrics button, we're going to see a default dashboard. Now these five panels, as we call them, are just the most common numbers. Show my inspections year over year, what's my revenue, um, you know, top referral sources, top agencies, and what is getting scheduled and how much money am I making off of it. Now, these are pretty common, but what if we either wanted a different view or some different numbers? Where the power of advanced metrics comes into play is we could actually use this dashboards drop down menu to create a new dashboard that we could call whatever we would like custom numbers custom dashboards in depth metrics whatever and hit save dashboard now we've created a panel library over here to help you figure out what numbers you want to see first so we could drag in total revenue we could see inspection counts let's look at the different inspections that we're doing. Um, if we keep on scrolling down here, let's do an average inspection price or what's my services breakdown. So we'd be down here of what's getting scheduled. Now, this is just my demo account, so it doesn't have a ton of information in here, but we would be able to say easily, oh, my inspection count all time for this demo account is 36. What was it in Q3? And we could use this drop down menu to say in the last 30 days or in previous quarter, it was nine. Same thing with total revenue. So in previous quarter, I earned 2000 bucks. We can see things like inspections by month, by week, week over year. So you can really compare your numbers. Um, services breakdown, same thing. If you're just not a fan of a pie chart and you would like this to be displayed a little bit differently, we could hit these three dots and go to edit. And then we have this wizard pull up. Now, instead of a pie chart, we could choose a bar graph or a line graph, whatever we would like in here. We could also add extra filters like um, add an extra time window or sort it by service name. Um, one of my favorite metrics to kind of show off would be here's my inspection total, but what if I want to figure out, say, my average revenue, but let's do it by zip code so we can figure out where our marketing dollars are going. So if we were to hit these three dots and hit edit, I want to look at average revenue, but I want to sort it by inspection zip code. And I'd like it to display a display as a pie chart. Well, it looks like I'm doing a ton of inspections or my average inspection price, price is the highest in 80223, but it looks like down here it's way less. So why aren't people scheduling things in here? And we can do the same thing with how many inspections, what your revenue is. We can look at how many each of your inspectors are doing in each of the different zip codes. You're going to get really in depth into this metrics. Um, if you're interested in looking up how to figure out a specific metric, feel free to jump on the bubble or schedule a demo and we can walk through how to get you those business numbers that you're after. All right, thanks.